Hey guys, Travis2888 here, got a new video for you as well today. Uh, I'm going to talk about something that a lot of people um, are hating on. It's one of the big things at the moment with gaming that people aren't liking. and um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. I think that people are looking at it the wrong way. And that is microtransactions. Now, if you're not sure what microtransactions are, I will take you through a brief kind of explanation. Basically, at the moment, I'm loading up Happy Wars, which is a free game if you pay for a uh, gold membership. Completely free, you can download it and play it whenever you like. You play online with other people, all good. Now, uh, straight off, cool, okay. So, you know, free game, sweet. And uh, you'll see in a mo that, you know, it's not just... It's not something rubbish, you know, it has been, it has been put together pretty well. Um, so, now within the game, uh, actually let me, uh, fine, I'll do a little game first. Um, so within the game you level up and unlock um, items, equipment, weapons, abilities, even classes and stuff like that. Now you do that by playing the game basically, when you get a certain amount of kills you might get a weapon or um, when you do certain scenarios you'll get a weapon, I mean go back to the main thing there, there you go, so boss crushes, so if I go to that, that's the special event basically, now there are four items here that I could win by playing that, um, basically by winning the round there's a chance you get one of these special items, now that's all good, that's fine, cool, um, and within the game there are hundreds and hundreds of items, now on top of this you can pay to buy items, that is a microtransaction, um, it is Let's have a look. We've got so you've got things like you know 24 lucky points or whatever it is. Happy tickets, sorry, happy tickets on this. Sorry, so you see there I've got 15 happy tickets. So I am not someone who is worried about putting a little bit of money in. So say you wanted to get the funny skin tone set, you know you get the eyes, the mouths, blah blah blah. 20 lucky tickets. All right, uh, well happy tickets. Sorry. So comes up. Don't have enough happy tickets. So you go. Okay, I'll purchase some happy tickets. And there you are. That is how much it would cost. So, for 18 of them, you would be paying. Da -da -da -da, let's go to real monies. 18 of them, you'd be paying one pound 29, and that is essentially what a microtransaction is. So, if you want those skins, you pay um, the equivalent of about one pound 40, and you get them. Now, the other thing as well is that you can uh, get weapons. There we are. So for one pound, one pound forty-ish, you can get you know weapon sets that you want to use. Now these weapons aren't necessarily as good as the ones that you can unlock through playing the game, but it does give you a bit of an edge straight away. You know if you've just started to your level one or level two or whatever, you can just pay some money, get some decent weapons, and use them. Now the thing to bear in mind with this is that obviously other people can unlock them by not playing, not paying, but it will just take them a long time. Um, so here's the problem with microtransactions. A lot of people don't like it because uh, you might be playing the game and you've just started, your mate's just started, your mate spends a fiver, gets some armor, gets some weapons, etc, etc. Um, your mate then has a better weapon than you, better armor than you. Now a lot of people get angry about that. I'm not sure why they get angry about that because essentially your mate has just paid five pounds for those items. You know, you haven't paid a penny. You can still play the full game. You can still unlock the items. It's not a problem. Um, there's also a thing within the game that means that, for example, if I were to download uh, one of these weapons packs, there's a chance that I'm not going to be able to use it because of the weight limit on there. The little uh, weight limit next to the image of the weapon there is four, seven, six, etc., etc. Now each character only has a certain amount of weight that they can carry. So if my character is only level 2, I could have that decent weapon, but then I wouldn't be able to have any uh, decent armor. So there, it does balance out a little bit. You can't just kind of go, oh sweet, I'll buy that, I'll get him, yeah, I'll get him some cool shields, I'll get some armor, uh, we get a crazy helmet. You know, it, it doesn't work like that. You do still need to level up slightly to get that. But the thing, the big debate at the moment is that a lot of people, a lot of gamers, um, a lot of kind of hardcore gamers, you know, and I, I respect these guys. I'm not, I'm not dissing them directly. I'm just thinking that the uh, outlook on microtransactions might be slightly off. I mean, you can play the game for free. You can unlock a lot of the stuff anyway, and there are things 
in place that mean that you can't just kind of play the game, spend 30 quid, and just be uber straight away. Just It, do, it doesn't work like that. Um, not on this game anyway. I mean, things like uh, World of Tanks, for example, you can pay, I think it's somewhere around £24 or something like that, and you can get a stupid amount of experience straight off and, and get going straight away. But a lot of people get angry because you're playing against others that have these... Uh, have made these microtransactions. These are people that have paid money, have paid, you know, 10, 15 pounds to get these items. Um, I, d I think it's misplaced anger, really. I mean, if you're not willing to pay for the items, then fine, don't pay for the items. Don't get angry at people that have. I mean, they, they've they spent their money on those little items that, you know, like they've, they've made these microtransactions. They've spent their own money on it. So... It's the same as um, it's the same effect as if you were playing Halo Reach, and someone has bought the special edition, and because they've got the special edition, they have an extra weapon, or I think it's a flaming skull or something like that, um, which you don't have, but they've paid an extra fifteen quid for that. Now, do you get angry about that if you see when you, so you see someone running around with that head? Well, no because they bought the collector's edition, they paid the extra to get it. And that's something that you cannot get, ever. Like, unless you get the collector's edition, you cannot get it. And yet, people don't seem to get worked up about that. Whereas with the microtransactions, you see someone with a flaming head, for example, I don't know, say you can get a flaming helmet on this game, um, and you get angry about it, because someone has paid that extra money to get that flaming helmet. Yeah, it gives you an advantage in game, fine but if you're really that struck on the game and you really enjoy playing it that much then keep playing it and you'll unlock that flaming helmet it's not like uh, it's not like it is with halo where if you don't have the collector's edition you can't get it because you can you just got to keep leveling up and keep playing but um anyway that's that's my two cents on it anyway i can imagine that i'm going to make a few people angry uh, with this video. I know it's a massive thing. A lot of people really do not like microtransactions and I can kind of see where they're coming from in, a, in the vaguest sense um, but unfortunately a lot of the videos I've seen to do with microtransactions are people ranting and raving because it it's a jealousy thing. Well not jealousy, it's a, a, an envy thing that someone has got these items and you don't but you play the game and you're a true fan and Da, 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 and all that and I can understand that if you're playing a game for months on end you get some noob come in he buys some equipment and you know then you lose he beats the crap out of you right fine I can understand the anger there but if you are a really big fan and you've been playing the game for months on end then by that point um, you should have some of the cool stuff anyway and if you don't then maybe you're just not playing the game right or Maybe you don't play it as much as, as you think you do. You know, you might enjoy it, but you might not play it as much as you think you do. I mean, I've met people that play this game and have said, Oh yeah, I love this game, I play it all the time, da 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 Go in and, and they haven't really, you know, they're only they're very low level and all that sort of stuff. But the perception is that while they're playing it, they love it so much. And, you know, that's the time that they put in. Essentially, if you're angry about microtransactions, just, well, just don't be really. I mean... If people want to put their own money into a game, then then let them. Um, and you know, if you get really fed up with people running around with premium items while you don't have them, then either stop playing the game or buy some yourself. I mean, <laughs> I know it sounds stupid. Oh, I don't want to pay one pound twenty nine. I mean, you could pay for this game to get a decent set of stuff. You've seen there, one pound forty. I mean, you could pay less than a tenner. You could get fully outfitted. You could get an armor set, a weapon set, helmet, accessory, etc., etc. Right? For less than a tenner. This game is free. If it wasn't free, the game itself would probably be about £10. Look at the prices of arcade games at the moment. And this is one of those arcade games where you've got 400G to unlock. It's a full-on, you know, fighting team-based online game. It That's how much it would be. So, rather than paying it that way, why not just get it for free and then um, buy the extra bits? I've, uh, <laughs> I've gone on a bit longer than I meant to. Um, I don't mean to offend anyone with this video. I don't want, you know, I can understand people being angry and I expect some angry responses, but I don't want people going, oh, you're a wanker, blah, blah, blah. Just, you know, 
if you got something to say, if you got another side of the opinion, then go for it. Do a video response or a comment or something, but actually explain it. Why? You know, why do you get angry? Um, you know, don't just turn around and go, oh, you don't know nothing, you tosser, because that's usually what happens on YouTube. You know, right, oh, you know, I disagree because blah, 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 and then I'll be inclined to uh, listen and respond. But um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you've liked it, then uh, put a thumbs up. If you do have comments either way, then please write them below. I'd be interested to see what people think about this. Um, and also, if you like the channel, then don't forget to subscribe. We've got plenty of stuff going on, loads of videos uploading this week. So um, I will see you soon, and thanks for listening, Internet people.